Somebody pointed out on last week's launch video that we didn't actually show the boat being craned off the back of the lorry and into the canal or into the Merida. I can't believe I forgot to include this and rightfully so the guy commented, the gentleman commented that that's the best bit and it really, it really is the best bit. So uh, here is the clip of the boat being lifted off the lorry by the crane. This is the moment where nearly 17 tonnes of steel is hauled in the air ready to go into the water. It's our new home and it contains all our belongings. Surprisingly I wasn't nervous at all, I don't think Anthony was either at this point. I think we were just too excited really and chatting to everybody else that had come to watch the launch. And we had complete trust and faith in these guys anyway, they've done this so many times, they're very experienced at launching narrow boats. This was also the first time that we'd seen the narrowboat out in daylight. She'd always been undercover while she was being built and if you had any doubts about the colours, well they'd gone today because she just looked amazing as soon as the sun hit her actually. This must be such a nerve-wracking moment for all the team at the boat builders but actually uh, my heart was in my mouth as she hit the water and we thought wow this is our new home and I do hope she floats. Well, she did float to our relief and we, after spending a day or two in the marina, we couldn't wait to get out onto the canals. There are so many different paddle types and gates and swing bridges on the Rufford branch of the Leeds and Liverpool. It's almost like a training ground for new narrowboaters, so it was a good experience for us. We had done this before when we helped Mark and Zach down this canal earlier in the year.
Luckily we had some help from our good friends Matt and John who joined us halfway down the Rufford branch. We were really lucky as you can see with the weather, you wouldn't think it was the middle of October. With it being such a lovely day there were lots of gone goozlers around and we got some really nice comments about the boat, the colour of the boat and lots of questions as well. So we moored up in Latham last night and walked to Bursco for a bite to eat and yesterday was our first day out cruising on the narrow boat. There's a really sharp bend on this bridge and although we've done it in our helmsman training I think we've done it in the opposite direction and maybe we were going a little too fast and I think we had a bit of an argument with a low hanging tree. Some of the observant of you may notice something different about the boat, no scratches luckily, but the chimney cowl had come off. We went for a late afternoon walk and the colours were just stunning in the low sunlight. And as you can see it started to get very muddy on the towpaths. Well, we've been out for just two days on the narrowboat. We absolutely love her. We've had the fire lit. We met friends yesterday who helped us down the locks at the Rufford branch of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. And we've moored up for the night in Parbold. We went to the local butchers, got some really nice sausages for lunch. And uh, Sue and the staff very kindly dropped off a new chimney after our old one was knocked off by a tree. We got our stovetop coffee percolator on and settle down for a relaxing evening. We had a solid fuel fire at our last house before we sold it. We really missed it when we lived in the other house for a few months and there's something really cosy about having it lit on the boat. In fact, as most boaters know, it gets so warm you've got to open a couple of windows. Is that little lad in front of the fire? You like it? Well it's Tuesday and we've had our fourth night aboard Morningstar and we, oh well I didn't sleep brilliantly the first night, I think I was listening out for various things and the boat, we just absolutely love her. There's a few things that we've got to do, put a couple of hooks up here and there inside the cupboards for keys and that kind of thing. Dexter loves it, he's settled in front of the fire and 
Auntie is cooking. <laughs> That's Alexa thinking I'm calling her name. Uh, Auntie is cooking our dinner, which is a sausage casserole. It was so quiet in the village that you could hear the owls outside. I got a couple of orders the next day for some of my art and it's the first time that uh, I've managed to sell art from the narrowboat which was great and we walked to the local post office the next day. We woke up to a beautiful misty October morning and had breakfast. Doing our regular checks before we set off. Engine bay looks really dry and fine. Oh, hello, <laughs> Dexter. Hello, well this is the first film that we've done on our new narrowboat Morningstar. We launched about four days ago, we spent a few nights on the narrowboat. It's been really relaxing, it's been a bit of a stressful week, we'll talk about that more later. Just things going on with family and friends. But, yeah, how do you like the boat? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. Love being on board, um, it stays really nicely. Um, lot of training coming back, um, so yeah, loving it. So yeah, we set off from Rufford on Friday, spent a day at the marina and on Saturday, headed out on Sunday. Bit of a squeeze getting out of the marina, but uh, Anthony did it really well and went through the locks on the Rufford branch of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal and now we're on the main branch of the Leeds and Liverpool to spend a night in Parvold and a night in Leyden with our friends Matt and John. How have you found sleeping on the boat? Uh, I slept really well. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well. Not the first night, but yeah, I got some earplugs. Anthony got me some earplugs and I've slept much better since. The bed's very comfortable and the space on the boat is just amazing. We, we can't believe how much storage we've got. We've left some things in the car, at the marina, but actually there's plenty of storage on the boat. We're really pleased about that. Dexter's loving it. A bit shaky, his first couple of days on the stern of the boat. He seems a lot more relaxed now. He's got his harness on. We've not tried his life jacket on yet. I suppose we should do that. Uh, yeah, but he just curls up in front of the fire, he's found his favourite spot. As crew, it's my job to let Anthony know about any obstacles on the starboard side. And as you can see, the bridge has a footpath that goes under it. And this happens quite a lot along the canal, as you can imagine. And you can just see a white mark, which 
sort of an optical illusion. It doesn't look like the centre of the bridge, but it is the centre of the canal passing under the bridge. of weed on this stretch of canal. It's almost like little islands dotted about. Well, we managed to reverse in a quiet part of the canal and remove this massive clump of weed. There was an artist sat on the bench doing some work at the side and what a lovely spot to paint. Well we've waited a year for our boat and it just feels amazing. The autumn colours are stunning this year, I don't know whether that's to do with lack of pollution. And the day we launched, it was really heavy rain, and we thought oh, it's going to be a washout October, we're not going to get to go out. We've only got two weeks to cruise, and the plan is to spend a few months uh, overwintering at the marina, concentrate on my art, and he's got some work to do. And you've decided to do a new course, haven't you? I have. So I'm doing a uh, postgraduate certificate in musculoskeletal lethal ultrasound. Something I've really wanted to do for a long time. It sort of ties in with my background in MRI and CT. So fingers crossed, it's all been done online. Um, so sort of short courses like that, uh, they're not allowing you to go to the university itself. So it's all been done via um, an online sort of webcam type thing. So how many days a week are you going to be working then? The hospital, yeah. uh, still four days a week. Um, I don't work Mondays, I've condensed all my hours into four days. Um, the ultimate plan is to reduce my hours over three days. Um, that's something that they're going to consider next year once the course is finished. And with the restrictions, especially in the Merseyside area, I can't see any shows, any magic shows for me this year, to be honest. So I really need to concentrate on my art and sell some of that. But hopefully, when we're back, especially when we're back, we're, we're trying to make the most of this week or so, a week or two, because nobody can, can, you know, no friends or family can even come out and see us on the boat. Uh, once we're in the marina, there are no outside visitors allowed. And because of the restrictions and the closure, well, because of the closures, on the canal system from the 2nd of November. We're a bit restricted to where we can go really. So we are making the most of this week or two. We even went to the chippy yesterday, didn't we? We did, I brought my diet. For <laughs> probably the third time since January. Um, but hopefully we're not gonna get into bad habits. No, he has been very good. You may have noticed a few empty bottles of wine in the background though. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so, it's so tempting and I'm a bit worried it'll become a habit but we get the fire lit at night, Dexter curls up with <coughs> us, we get a film on or watch some of our favourite YouTube vloggers and uh, a glass or two of red wine every night. Red wine's good for you. <laughs> Everything's good for you in moderation. So we, we wish the people that had supported us and followed us from the beginning and any new viewers 
could experience this being on the back of the boat. The bird song. Morning. Morning. The people walking by, commenting on the boat. And the smell of the coal fire is just amazing, isn't it? Am I doing my telephone voice again? Telephone voice, <laughs> just the generic Wigan accent. <laughs> Anthony's always called my accent. Amazing is what I should be saying, not amazing. Well, that's it for this week's video. Catch us again next week when we carry on on the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. There's some beautiful scenery and please subscribe to our channel if you've not already. Hit the bell icon for notifications and please keep those lovely comments coming.